Hey, what's up gamers? Welcome back to Project Ascension. Today we're checking out the Corrupted Bear Form. This turns your bear form corrupt, reduces your physical damage, but increases your melee attacks to do shadow damage. Also gives you Mangle and Maul have a chance to apply corruption. And then that also hits multiple targets, which is even better. And then your swipe drains life from the targets with corruption. So, so boys, we actually forgot to let you know. Um, there's actually skill cards right over here in Org or your starting area that you can pick up. And you can do different preset stuff. We actually went with the Plague Bearer. It actually gave us some uh, Druid ones. And I was able to swap these ones down to the bottom. We also unlocked Enrage. And then we happened to be able to pick up the Kings with the regular skill cards. So Alright, boys. We're absolutely just shredding right through everybody in this map. This, uh... Horn mill battle that we're doing. Playing our uh, bear tank here. Let's get into action. Show them how it's done. A lot of AoE too, which is probably the best part about this. Oh, we need some kind of fear breaker though. That's the only issue. We just get right into the thick of it and just start smacking. We got a uh, corrupted... Uh, Shatter Bolt as well. Show you guys that in a second. Let's get around, getting everyone, get all the dots on everybody. Getting the corruption out. So this teaches you Shadow Waste Bolt, which also does plague damage. Basically, it's just a Shadow Bolt that also does a little bit of a dot. Um, it pairs right up with our Instacast, which is really strong. A um, little extra damage just here and there. And that, and then we also happen to snag the uh, the mangle. We got the frenzy regen. Um, oh, and the uh, wind fury, which is I see that procking a lot, which is pretty good. Um, other than that, nothing crazy so far. We're level 53. Um, we're trying to get the rest of the talent points up so we can finish and further enhance the build. And then what other other kind of uh, enchants that we can throw on our gear to further maximize it. Um, a lot of it you want to try to keep up your enrage because you do a lot of extra damage and also more than one target to hit with your maul which puts on the corruption and then every time you damage with that it heals you plus more ticks of that you get the insta cast of the shadow bolt or the waste bolt in our case boys are actually soloing this big uh, iron bark protector over here it's just me and this other guy he's not really doing a lot of damage I'm absorbing the majority of it um, and then also just healing right through. So let me get out of this root and I'll pack this guy too. Get this guy out of the way. It's actually not too bad. The, uh, sustain is really good. So a lot of it's just making sure you have enough rage. When you're getting smacked and attacked by a lot of mobs, you can, uh, keep the rage up pretty easily. But when there's only one mob or in PvP, anything like that, you don't get as much. But pretty good damage. Um, and we're very good on sustain. Alrighty, boys, so that was a little bit about the Corrupted Bear form, uh, Mystic World Enchant. I think that's World Enchant, just a Mystic Enchant, rather. Um, and some of the stuff that I paired with it, some of the talents as well, I'll show you those. Um, mostly went into the Feral Tree, a couple Warlock things with the Shadow Bolt and the Backlash, which are very crucial to this build. Um, what else did we get? Uh, Mental Quickness increases spell damage about um, from your attack power, from your agility. Definitely a pretty fun build. The AoE is nice, and being able to just tank and run through dungeons real quick is nice. So definitely check out this build. One of the better ones, and I know there's not too many tanks. A lot of it's just DPS. Like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.